Have you seen Derulodon? Have I seen him? Have you seen Derulodon with a new item? No. Have a look at this, Max. <laughs> Ready? Uh-huh. Um, hello? <laughs> Game developers, I think you uh, <laughs> made mistakes. Pokemon Unite plans to add two new items to the game and I've taken it upon myself to test them both. I put my one brain cell in a plant pot, watered it, nurtured it, and uh, well, uh, n nothing happened. So we are still working with one brain cell, but that, that, that doesn't matter. Hi traders, I'm Tease, this is Nuts, and today I'm going to give you a general idea on how these two new items work. This is really important because when they come to the game, you'll have an idea on who to build it on, on how they work, on maybe how to counter it, I don't know. And it just makes building even more fun because now there's something else to add to it. A disclaimer, this is based on my testing and my experimenting. This is still in the public test server, so nothing is final until officially released to the main clients. The testing do be scuffed, but from my testing, it does give you an idea on how these items work. And I believe at some point the Giga Chads of Pokemon Unite with the actual huge brains will have the numbers exactly for us. And I will share that if there are big differences or things that are really important to know, I will definitely let you know that. So feel free to subscribe to the bell to be notified for that. And as you can see, only roughly 50% of you are subscribed. Can we get that to a 55%? Let's find out. <laughs> okay, let's jump into the video. The first item we have is Brain Crown. So this item is really cool. I think it's the first item in Pokemon Unite that's a lifestyle item for physical damage based Pokemon. The Drain Crown restores HP equal to 10% of damage dealt with attack based basic attacks. HP plus 120, attack plus 18. I tested this on a number of different Pokemon to see what the percentage values actually are and what the heals are and everything like that. It actually is not consistent with the 10% and I don't know why. I have no idea why. It is very wonky. However, the only Pokemon out of like the six Pokemon I've tested is Talonflame. <laughs> Talonflame actually does get 10% heal from its basic attack or whatever it is. So for Talonflame's basic attack, it dealt 641 damage and from that it healed 64. So that's right, it's 10%. But the other Pokemon actually did not have 10%. And if it stays this way, it's actually really strong on some of the Pokemon. So with Greninja, keep in mind that I did test these all at level 12, not max level, because generally not every game you get to level 15 in Pokemon Unite. On a level 12 Greninja, on a basic attack, I dealt 373 damage and I healed for 74. That was roughly around 20% of my basic attack. On Garchomp, I dealt 300. 97 and I healed for 78 and that was also roughly 20%. The same with Lucario, roughly around 20%. But Darulodon and Decidueye have a different story. So on Darulodon with my basic attack that dealt 395, I healed for 118 which was around 30% and with Decidueye with my normal basic attack I dealt 343 damage and I healed for 102 and that was also around 30%. But why are the numbers so different? Then I tested with Decidueye's like machine gun attack speed raises or whatever it is you deal less damage so you dealt like 130 damage instead of 343 when it's like really fast however i healed for 78 which is 60 percent <laughs> so this item is like extremely strong on decidueye and it also works with razor leaf as well so here's a clip of decidueye and i'm just healing so quickly and i'm wondering if this will help with raise i mean of course it'll help with razor leaf we'll see how it does in like the game game like in actual games the situate is getting constant heals of razor leaf and its basic attacks so it's pretty crazy like machine gun healing i don't know why the percentages are different maybe there's something that i'm not seeing because i don't do like math stuff for like a living i do like testing things and stuff like that and i like to dabble in it <laughs> Maybe there's an explanation for this. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just bugged. Maybe, you know, it's just PTS. They haven't really worked it out completely how it's going to like work in game. Or maybe there are some hidden things I don't know about. Okay, post-editing teeds here. So I just really could not let go of why it was so different, why the numbers were so skewed. And I had to figure it out. I had to find out why does this Pokemon heal way more than this Pokemon? Detective Teeds is back. <laughs> and I had a look. I want to share something where people who do like Excel sheets and stuff are going to be like, ew, what the hell is that? And to maybe others are going to be like, that's so many numbers and I hate looking at this, but I'm <laughs> sorry in advance. This is my spreadsheet where I did some of the test things on and I wrote things down so I, you know, didn't forget exactly what I was saying. So with Talonflame, you can see that it actually does 10%. So it does do the 10% like the item says. So I went onto Talonflame's Unite DB page and it says 
that at level 12 for Talonflame, the lifesteal is 0%. So it adds the 10% from the new item to Talonflame's lifesteal and makes it 10%. For Decidueye, you can see that it says 30%, roughly around 30%. So if I go onto Decidueye's page, go to level 12, you can see that Decidueye has a 20% lifesteal. So basically what the item does is that it adds 10% to the lifesteal that it already has. So it's additive or however you say it. Here it says 60%. So for Decidueye's wise like Razor Leaf, I think it's because of Razor Leaf. It has something to do with like the increased auto attack damage by 2% of the primary target's remaining health. It might be something to do with that. I have no idea. I don't know if that is like the reason for it being so high. No idea. But basically all these numbers, why they're so different, like from 20% to 30% to 10%, it's just because it's additive. So the life seal of Drain Crown, the 10% is just adding to the life so that you have at least that's what i figured i think that's what it, that's how it's working this is just a huge oversight on my end i actually did not even think about the base life still that pokemon have which is something i should have definitely thought about before i did all this testing but like i said it's scuffed f i don't do this for a living i do i dwibble dwab i dwab i, I dabble <laughs> So my conclusion of this item is that it's definitely not as great as I thought it was, but it still will work nicely on some Pokemon. So yeah, do what you will with that. We'll see what happens when it comes out to the live client. We'll see if it's like really strong or how much it changes the game. My conclusion for Drain Crown, it is definitely not as good as I thought it was, but it's not a bad item. I definitely want to do it on Decidual either. That sounds fun. <laughs> but this gives you an idea of how Drain Crown works. It just works in a nutshell, as the item describes. It restores health equal to a percentage of damage dealt with attack-based basic attacks. This goes for your basic attacks and it goes for moves that act as a basic attack. So for example, like Decidueye's Razor Leaf. But can I just show you here on Darula Don, what the hell is this? <laughs> I healed for almost 2,000 and something damage on the dummy. Now do keep in mind this probably won't happen in a game because Derilodon's boosted attack is based on like the HP of the target, the max health. You do more damage the higher their max health is. That's why I healed so much because I just dealt so much damage. <laughs> I saw this and I was just so shocked. I was like, ooh. <laughs> but that means with Derulodon's boosted attack, you will get more heals on targets that have more health. So like tankier targets and supporters have a lot of health or have high health pools. The second thing I wanted to say about Drain Crown healing is that when you crit, you do heal more. You don't heal more in terms of like percentage. So for example, it's still 20% on Greninja if I crit. So I did 894 damage and with that I healed 178. So it's still 20%. But if you crit, you do have a higher heal number, I guess, like a high heal number value, but it's still 20% if that makes sense. So this does work with crit. I tested this on Absol's Pursuit. After you use Pursuit, you do get this really heavy basic attack and that has a chance to crit. When I didn't crit, it dealt 1,533 damage and it healed for 306, which is 20%. When I did crit, it dealt 3,066 damage, which healed me for 612, which is still 20%. So you might be wondering, wow, Drain Crown and Scope Lens must work super well together. Well, actually, Drain Crown works well with a lot of items. It does work really well with Scope Lens. If you do crit, you do get like just the higher heal number. But you know, you could also just increase your damage as well, your damage overall, because that will just give you consistent higher heals, I guess, or increase your attack speed, because if you attack more, then you will also, you know, get more heals because you're attacking faster. I guess it depends on what you value there and I haven't tested like all of these in depth so I can't tell you what is the best but Drain Crown does pair up nicely with a lot of items and I do see this item being used. If it stays like this it 100% should be used on Decidueye especially on the Razor Leaf build. It seems that you can out heal some damage there. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. I was a huge fan of playing like ADCs and Hunters etc in the old MOBAs I played and there were lifestyle items for them so this is really cool. I also tried Drain Crown with Muscle Band and it doesn't seem to make a difference like there's no additional health or it doesn't proc with muscle band at least on my testing on the pts rain crown and muscle band don't have like an interaction where it heals more or anything like that. Okay, the next item we have is Rapid Fire Scarf. So this item increases your Pokemon's basic attack by 30% for a short time after three basic attacks. It also gives you raw stats of plus 12 attack and basic attack speed plus 9%. Attack speed is very hard 
to calculate or to <laughs> test in Pokemon Unite. It definitely takes a lot of time, but what I can tell you is Rapid Fire Scarf doesn't work exactly how it says in the description. And this is very, very important to know. There are two icons that come up when you use Rapid Fire Scarf. See on the bottom here that two icons have popped up. You might be wondering why they're two icons. Well, let me tell you. This is actually really cool though. Like it tells you that at least because then it'll be very confusing. The right one is your Rapid Fire Scarf being active. So that means during this time frame, you have the faster attack speed and this lasts for 4.5 seconds from what I've calculated. The left one is actually the cooldown of it. So during this time, see, you can see that the right one just disappears and you still have the left one, which I guess moves into the spot where the right one was. While this is there, you can't get this benefit anymore. You can't get the benefit of the faster attack speed until it is gone. So once this is gone, then you have to do the three basic attacks again, and then you get the benefit again. So during that time when this icon is up, you cannot get the benefit of faster attack speed. You have to wait until that is gone and then you have to attack three times to get that basic attack speed. That is really important to know because from what I've tested with my level 12 Greninja, I've only tested this with Greninja. With the buff, I threw out 12 basic attacks and without the buff, I threw out nine. So that checks out, it's roughly around, well, at least for me, it was around 33%, but roughly around 30%. And to be super extra as well, I've counted all my basic attacks and this is just a rough count. It gets really tiring count counting basic attacks on Greninja. <laughs> So I counted how many basic attacks Greninja threw out per minute and with no items I threw out 101 basic attacks in a minute. With just Rapid Scarf only I threw out 113 attacks per minute. With Rapid Scarf and Muscle Band. Now Muscle Band also gives you a stat of attack speed plus 7.5%. It's very complicated though which I will explain after but with that item I did see an increase in speed throughout 121 basic attacks. With with Rapid Scarf, Muscle Band, and Attack Speed Emblems, which are your reds, like full Attack Speed Emblems, which give you an increase of 3%. I still threw out 121 attacks. So then I was like, that's weird, is the Attack Speed Emblems aren't working? So then I tested Rapid Scarf and just the Attack Speed Emblems, and it still was 121 attacks. So it does work, but there is a cap. And honestly, it's so confusing, and I don't want to really go into like a whole in-depth thing about it. Pretty much Muscle Band is not purely built for like the attack speed or anything like that. It's just like a little extra on the side. Muscle Band is an item that is usually built for its passive. It deals additional damage with basic attacks by 1 to 3% of the target's remaining HP. So the more health they have, the more effective it is. The less they have, the less effective it is. And that's really why Muscle Band is being built. It's a great item in that regard. But in terms of the attack speed, I tested this a long time ago and I found that there was actually no increase and no benefit of the attack speed. And this goes for a lot of Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon actually actually don't see any benefit from Muscle Band's attack speed. And that is to do with the animation of the Pokemon. I couldn't find the spreadsheet of this. It was such a long time ago. So what I got from that is that while Greninja has this cap, it might be different on another Pokemon. It might work very differently on another Pokemon. With Rapid Fire Scarf though, I did see some clear differences in the attack speed. You clearly do attack faster, which is really cool. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Rapid Fire Scarf when it's active and Rapid Fire Scarf when when it's not active, it is clearly faster. But in terms of how much benefits you get when building all attack speed items, from my testing, it shows that you might not get any benefit at all. So do keep that in mind if you're doing like a full attack speed build, you actually might have capped the attack speed and you probably don't know it. It is a very complicated subject in general. Attack speed in Pokemon Unite is very complicated. And as much as I would love to do every single Pokemon in this video, it will take me a very long time. So instead, I'm going to make videos about different Pokemon and I'm going to be testing new builds on them. See where it does cap and where it doesn't cap. If you would like to be notified for that, feel free to subscribe to the bell to be notified for it. There are a few Pokemon I have in mind that I really want to try some different builds on and to see where it benefits off Rapid Fire Scarf plus other things. But for now, from what I've tested on Greninja, at level 12, it seems that Greninja does not get benefits from building Rapid Scarf, Muscle Band, and Attack Speed Emblems, if this is all correct. So it's very important to know that you might 
cap the Pokemon or might not get any benefit at all when going for a full attack speed build. A rapid fire scarf on its own is pretty sick. This is gonna work really well on basic attack based Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that I main that I really want to use this item on so I'm very excited for this. Okay so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching trainers. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these two new items. I would love to know in the comments down below. Like the video if you found this interesting or helpful. Subscribe and click the bell to be notified for more videos and I can't wait to catch you for the next one. Bye!